Okay, lesson 14, I want to take a step back and review the truthy and falsy values. This is anything that could be interpreted by JavaScript as true or false values. Now, as we see on the screen, very clearly, we have two Boolean variables, true and false are set to those. And when I display those, they will appear as true and false. Very easy to use in my if statements for conditions. Of course, as I expect, bool true is set to the true value and bool false is false. But what about numbers? Numbers can in fact take on Boolean values as well. And if I paste that in here, I've got the number zero. The only value that evaluates to a false value is zero. And if you remember the section on ternary operators, I encourage you to go watch that. Here I'm using it right in line. I don't set a variable and then display the variable. I'm just displaying which of these options comes out. So if number is zero, it should print false, F-A-L, this is now a string, and it will say zero is false according to this. And if my theory is correct, there it is. If I try it with a positive number like 10, run that, it will say 10 is true. Why is this important? Because you may be counting rows in a table and want to know if it's zero, run this section of code. Rather than saying if number is equal to zero or not equal to zero or whatever, you can make a conditional based on that and just say, hey, if number, then it's true. Then I got something. Even if it's a, unfortunately, negative value, counting rows and getting negative value may in fact indicate an error of some type, but you now know a Boolean value of true or false for numbers. Strings are equally interesting because there are different answers for that as well. I did not copy that correctly. Let's do that again. Copy, paste. Here I have a string that has no value. It's undefined. If I did a GS info on this, it would say undefined. Here I have one that is set to null. It's defined, but it has a null value, which is different than undefined. It has something, but it's, it's really got nothing. It's just an empty string. And here I have an actual string that has something in it. And if I print out the values of those, if string one, this is where I'm checking, is it true or is it false? Is string one true or false? It has nothing, it's going to be false. String two has a null value, it is also going to be false. So I could do conditions like that, or I could do if string one, okay, just to validate, do you have something valid? GS info string one has something valid, valid. Okay, very common use case, for determining does a string have a value. So running that, I see string one is false, string two is false, string three is true, as I would expect. And because string one was false, it did not have that. If I went to say string three and said, how about you string three? String three has something valid. So maybe I'm getting data from another system. Maybe I'm getting records out of a table and checking field values for empty values. It's it's completely up to you how you choose to choose, choose to check these, but this is a good way to say, does this variable have a value that I can use? These are called truthy and falsy. You can use them in conditions, whether they are strings, numbers, or in fact, Booleans. Sometimes you may want to convert that and get the Boolean value out of that. Uh, checking for a specific string value would be one case of that. But if you just want to know, is there something there or not? Do I have a number or not? Do I have a Boolean value, true or false? You can do that with these truthy and falsy. And it's important to recognize when you see these things in JavaScript, why are you doing a Boolean on a string? I thought you could only do a, a conditional like comparison expression on a Boolean or comparing numbers, something like that. No, you can do this with flat out, put the variable in there and it'll say whether or not it's a true or a false. Very handy to do with these truthy and falsy values. So that's it for lesson 14. Look forward to talking to you again in the next lesson. Bye.